Shalom, shalom. Yes, dear ones, Jesus tells us uh, in Matthew, go, move, don't sit around, and make all nations to disciples. Uh, God never told us to make church members or, or members of certain religions, but we are to make disciples of Jesus Christ. And you know, a disciple has to become like his master. Uh, we know from, the, from uh, history that Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, they had disciples. And their only goal was to become like the master and even better. And this is also the calling for us Christians. You know, sometimes I ask Christians, what, what are the fruits? God wants us to be fruitful. What are the fruits? And they say, well, the fruits are love, joy, peace, gentleness. I said, uh-uh, that's the fruits of the Holy Spirit. What are the fruits of a Christian? They don't know. I said, what are the, what are the fruits of an apple tree? Apples, what are the fruits, fruits of, a, of a, um, a plum tree, plums? What are the fruits of a cherry tree, cherries? What are the fruits of a Christian? Christians. And we are to bring forth, we are to multiply ourselves in the kingdom of God. We are to bring forth disciples. People, first of all, we start, we to start with our family. And, but for, other, for us to make disciples in others, we have to become a disciple ourselves first. And I promise you, to be a disciple of Jesus Christ costs you everything. He wants you to be like him. And, uh, and so I want you to read in, uh, in Acts 4.13, where you see that Peter and John were before the high courts in Israel, and they realized these were simple men but they were with Jesus. And that's where their anointing came from. That's where their power came from. That's where their authority came from. Then uh, in, uh, in John 14, 23 and 24, um, uh, uh, Jesus says when Judas asked him, uh, who loves me will do what I say. You know, the number one thing that a disciple needs is obedience, is personal relationship with Jesus and doing what he says. Because only by doing what Jesus says can we prove that we love him. I taught my children very early that they only can show me that they love me by obeying my words. And I tell you, they were, I was told that the ears of an African child are on the behind. So when they didn't want to listen at all, I took a little stick and I said, do, you, do I need to open your ears? No, mommy, no, mommy. What are you saying? I'm listening. Amen? The dear ones, when we don't listen, God will chastise us because he wants us to walk in truth and he wants us to be blessed. And disobedience doesn't bring blessings. Obedience brings blessings. So read John 14, 23 and 24. Where Jesus said, who loves me will do what I say. Then in, uh, in John 15, 16, uh, it says that we are to bear fruit. Fruit is other Christians. That it says in John 15, 16, not you have chosen me, I have chosen you. And, and I have called you to bring, bring forth fruit, fruit that will remain. And then we can ask the Father whatever we want, and he will answer. Dear ones, God has such blessings for us when we become his children. But his children are only those that have received him and allowed Jesus to, to, to grow in them. And for you and I to become daily more and more, more, and more like our master, and he is Jesus Christ. And then, it says in John 15, 12, I tell you, that you are to love each other like I have loved you. And that is the goal. We are to love like Jesus loves and has loved us. And you know, he even prayed on the cross for those that crucified him, for those that, that beat him, for those that gave him the worst time on earth. He prayed, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. 
And in our days, I think this should be the most common prayer for us. Father, forgive those that are running right now this world, for they don't know what they're doing. And we walk with Jesus. Amen. We forgive, but we look to Jesus. And we, our whole goal in life is to become more and more like him every day. And when your life is transformed into the image of Jesus, I promise you, the people that watch you will want what you have. And we are to be fruitful. We are to multiply. So allow the Holy Spirit to encourage you to invest time as much as you can in that school. Uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a college of evangelism where you will learn how to be a disciple yourself and how to train others as disciples and be fruitful and be a, a joy in the eyes of the living God. We love you and we wait for your response. Bless you, bless you. Shalom.